Austin P is one of the best places in the world to witness it. The 2017 Eclipse. Join us for one of our P-Clips experiences, 7 p.m. Sunday, August 20th, as we host former astronaut Dr. Ray Seddon in the Dunn Center. On Monday, August 21st, we will host our P-Clips events prior to the Eclipse. Live viewing opportunities will take place at Forterra Stadium during the Eclipse. Visit APSU.edu slash Eclipse. Hello and welcome back to the 919 Newsroom. I'm Rebecca Nanny and today we've been talking about everything solar eclipse. Be sure to get your safety glasses before Monday, August 21st because around noon is when you'll be able to see the total solar eclipse. Today we've heard from various Austin P professors and even the chief of police here on campus. Um, today we're going to finish up our interviews and our segments about the solar eclipse with an interview with Sandra Brandon who is the information officer with the sheriff's office. She's going to tell us about all the issues that may arise with the influx of visitors we have coming to Clarksville and as well as safety tips that we can keep in mind while the eclipse is happening and while our visitors are in town. Thank you so much for coming in and joining us today. Thank you for having me today. So let's jump right into it. Um, I know there's a large number of visitors coming to Clarksville. I'm not entirely sure about the exact number but I've heard various people say that it could double our population for the weekend of this eclipse. Yes, yeah, so we've heard numbers as low as 50,000 and as high as 300,000. So wow. with increased visitors is definitely going to be increased traffic. So that's one of the things that we are planning for. So besides increased traffic, what else can we expect from this influx of visitors that Clarksville is going to have? Well, you may run into conditions where you run out of certain supplies like water, um, some of your basic food supplies. Um, also, there may be more accidents that are out on the road, more disabled vehicles that are on the side of the road, and of course, maybe some health issues and concerns because, you know, in August, the temperature can reach sometimes up to the triple digits. So, mm -hmm. and with the humidity here in Tennessee, those can all pose problems. Yeah. Um, so will there be a larger police force present during the eclipse to not only take care of the visitors that Clarksville is expected, but also the residents? Yes, absolutely. Um, for us at the sheriff's office on Saturday and Sunday, um, none of our patrol deputies will have a day off, so they'll all be out in full force. And then on Monday, we'll have additional deputies, um, school resource officers, warrant officer deputies that will come in and um, work that day. So what we are planning on for the day of the actual eclipse is we have 104 of our deputies and supervisors that will be out in the field that day working. Um, and the way we have the county divided up is into zones. So there will be a 14 subzones that our deputies and supervisors will be assigned to to work in that area. And we're doing that to hopefully increase our response times in case there's any type of accident or emergency that we need to respond to. Um, so with these larger police force numbers, will you be focusing on certain areas? I know Liberty Park is having an event. Um, or will it be more kind of traffic control? Or what exactly is the focus? Well, all the first responder agencies here in Montgomery County have been meeting once a month for about a year now to plan for this event. So we are working with the other agencies here in town, whether it's EMA, EMS, CFR, or the Clarksville Police Department. And each agency has basically kind of developed an action plan for their agency, and they're breaking down the county and deploying and fo focusing resources and personnel in certain areas. So in the county, we're going to focus on traffic, um, and we're going to focus on any type of first responder needs in case somebody gets hurt or has an issue with their health, so we can get out there and focus on those. Um, other agencies here in town, um, for example, in the city, you know, the city is holding certain events. Um, the police department in the city is aware of that, so they're going to focus their resources in that area and also, of course, not take away from patrolling the city as a whole. So they've got their focus, the county has our focus, and of course the other agencies have their focus also. Awesome. Um, is there anything that we as residents can do to help make this process easier for Clarksville as a whole? Absolutely. Um, we are encouraging you to make a plan for that day. So whatever it is, make a plan and stick to that plan. So whether you want to view the eclipse at one of the events here at Austin P or at one of the parks in the city or the county, um, make a plan to get there. Take resources with you, water, snacks, food, your glasses. Make sure you've got everything that you need and stick to it. Um, by doing that, we hope to lessen the traffic that's on the road um, and it'll be a more pleasant experience for everyone. Okay. Um, so would you say that it would probably be 
better and easier to stay at home rather than go to a public event since there will be so many visitors? Well, this is one of those once in a lifetime events, so I don't want to dictate how you want to experience that event because we want that to be special for you. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't matter if you decide to go to a public viewing or have a private viewing in your home. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure that you have a plan in place and resources available to you if you need them. Um, so do you have any suggestions of ways to be courteous of the visitors and the other residents that are going out to a public event? Well, be aware. Again, increase visitors, increase traffic, which means it's going to take you longer to get places. So just be kind and patient and understand that, you know, a trip maybe across the, the city to the mall would take normally 20 minutes, may take 40 minutes, may take longer, just depending on the traffic. So be kind, you know, exercise that southern hospitality that Tennessee <laughs> is known for um, and be courteous and, and leave a great, you know, mark on all those who come into our town. So. Uh, major tip is just build in that extra time into your plan. Yes. Um, be sure to recognize that with this heavier traffic and these mm -hmm. visitors, it's going to take probably double the time to get somewhere. Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, how are you guys implementing social media to get this information out to the residents and hopefully to the visitors that are coming to Clarksville? Are you using Facebook and Twitter or flyers or anything? We are. Um, we have. We also have gone to different um, organizations and agencies and done presentations. Um, we, we have PSAs that are running on various radio stations here in the community. And you could go to all of the agency's Facebook pages. And from now up until the actual eclipse, we're going to periodically post safety tips for you. Perfect. Um, do you have anything else you would like to add? Anything that I haven't talked about? Any other safety tips that you might have for residents and visitors coming for the eclipse? Well, cell phones, obviously, may pose an issue that day. With having so many people coming into the area, it may overload the cell phone towers. So cell phone communication may be at a minimum that day. Um, of course, they're planning and hoping that isn't the case. But if that is, just be aware that your, phones, your phone calls may not be able to get through. So try to stay off your phones as much as possible that day so we can leave those lines open for any emergencies that may come up. Um, also, don't pull over on the side of the road that day to watch the eclipse. That kind of goes back to make a plan for the day and mm -hmm. stick to your plan. Um, if emergency personnel need to get to a certain area, having vehicles on the side of the road or blocking like ingress or egress points into some of these events could slow response time down and we want to make sure that does not happen. So stay off the roads, make a plan. Um, the other thing is just remember that day it's going to be really hot. A lot of the events around town will have alcohol. Um, alcohol can worsen the effects of heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Um, so plan accordingly for that. Um, try to stay cool. If events have um, an area where you can go in and get some air conditioning, go in and do that for a little while and try to stay cool and watch your alcohol consumption for that day. Um, the county is closed for that day, all offices. Um, I know the school system is closed for that day. So it's an exciting event for Clarksville. And as long as everybody plans properly, it's going to be a fun, memorable event for us also. Well, I'm excited. Um, a lot of these tips are very helpful. Um, just a few more tips. Don't forget your safety glasses. Uh, we spoke about those earlier. They're really important. And sunscreen. If it's going to be hot, it's going to be bright, and you want to be able to protect your skin just like your retinas. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much, Sandra, for coming in today. Uh, we really appreciate your advice, and I really hope everybody enjoys the eclipse and takes advantage of your tips. Thank you for having me. On August 21st, a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon will occur in Clarksville, Tennessee. And Austin P. State University is one of the best places in the world to witness it. The phenomenon is the 2017 eclipse. Join us for one of our P-Clipse experiences, 7 p.m. Sunday, August 20th, as we host former astronaut Dr. Ray Seddon for a special presentation in the Dunn Center. On Monday, August 21st, we will host our P-Clips events in the Dunn Center for education and entertainment activities prior to the eclipse. Live viewing opportunities will take place at Forterra Stadium during the eclipse. Keep in mind that you need a pair of certified solar glasses to view this spectacle. For more information or to buy solar viewing glasses and commemorative eclipse books, visit APSU.edu slash eclipse.